You look like someone that has seen Harry Potter and I loves know. Harry Potter. This is what I'm telling you. I don't I care about Harry Potter. I don't like brooms and witches. <laughs> Anything where like people are flying, I don't. I'm not, I hate. That's so weird. I love Harry Potter. I'll love it if you love it. Whatever. Whatever we have to do to make this work, I'll watch <laughs> Harry Potter. I'm so excited to see you tonight. Hello and welcome to another episode of First Date. You know my guest today from his podcast, Tuesdays with Stories and the Regs. You can see him live in Los Angeles, May 2nd at the Regent Theater, Joe List. Thanks, everybody. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Where do I look? At you, the camera? You look at me. Myself? I'll look down. Yeah, you look straight at my eyes. Oh, <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm excited. I feel very underdressed. I, I, I blew you it. You are? Well, nobody told me. Nobody said wear a suit and a, like you're Mark in like a Norman gown. Mark Norman didn't give you a heads up? No, I got no heads up. What an asshole. Uh, he's a bad person, but that's a whole other yeah. bag of farts. But New uh, Balance, huh? That's I your like, choice? I, I went New Balance sneakers and hoodie. I'm you're a dad. Matching. Full dad mode. Yeah, I can tell. But I think this is a nice, as far as hoodies go, mm -hmm. don't you think this is pretty nice? I mean, it looks steamed. I did just leave the steam room, although I was not wearing the hoodie, but maybe the steam <laughs> from my body kind of... It's not steamed. It was in a pile on the floor. It's okay. Thank you. I have a nice Ted Baker and ported jacket at my uh, Airbnb. But It I, looks like you showered. I, I just showered. Very recently. Product in the hair. Moisturizer. That's something. Yeah. I blew it. <laughs> you didn't blow it. I'm sorry. It's not. Fuck. It's 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 okay. If you if you come back for a second date, you better dress up though. I'll wear a suit. I got a nice imported. It's like a two thousand dollars suit. I'll be honest. Most people don't dress up for the show. Okay. But when they do, it's very appealing. Does it like pop off? I'm trying to use like young. No, people I term. like them to keep it on. <laughs> uh, what do you eat for breakfast today? Oh, I went to uh, Paperboy, you know that place here mm -hmm. in Austin? I had like, I don't know what it is. It's like a piece of toast with some kind of sugary jizz on it. It's like a white. Like a cinnamon roll? Yeah, It's a cinnamon toast something. It has crushed walnuts, but there's like a white. It's called like macro, macro, blah, blah. Some white kind of. Straight over my head. It's like a strudel -y thing. Okay. Strudel's a fun word. And then I had some scrambled eggs with cheese and also um, like a cheddar hash brown. Oh, that's so annoying. How do you stay so skinny? Do you I eat run like that a lot. lot? I, went, I, I eat complete garbage shit, but it's catching up to me now. I have like a little dad pooch thing going on right now, and it's, it's not fun. I want to kill myself. So you're starting to have a New Balance body. Yeah, I'm working on it. But I run, I'm an avid runner. I run almost every day. I go to the gym. I do a lot of push-ups, crunches. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Do you consider yourself a picky eater? It doesn't sound like it. Oh, no. I'm a very picky eater. Like psychotic. It's problematic. They call me kids menu. My friends literally call me kids menu. I eat like three foods. Chicken parm, cheese pizza, no toppings, hot dog, ketchup, cheeseburger, nothing else on it. Cheese, ketchup, bun. Do you ever eat anything healthy? From time to time. <laughs> I'll eat asparagus. I have smoothies. I'll go to Juice Land, get a nice spinachy blueberry banana smoothie. I like asparagus. You know what it is? I like healthy foods, but it's a it's a pain in the ass to um, make them. I see. But I like I like vegetables. I like fruit. Okay. That's healthy. I feel like I'm hurting your feelings. I mean I'll eat I, anything you want. No, it just Bring I... out some broccoli. I'll shove it right in my mouth. <laughs> Ew, no, I would never make you do that. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, spinach, I like spinach. Do you do you? You're sober, right? I've been sober a long time. Yeah. How long? Eleven years. Do you remember what it was like to be drunk? Sure, of course. Yeah. Was it fun? Uh, it was fun at times. At times it was very fun, and at times it was very unfun. You yeah. Know, yeah. A lot of throwing up, falling down. I was. I broke a lot of things. I liked breaking things. Like in your body or? No, never in my body. I would break like, you go to like a parking garage, you know, the big arm. I would like to snap that off and like chuck it somewhere. Oh. Maybe a mail, I'd take a mailbox out of the ground and punt it. Stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, I had a lot Wild of anger. Child. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was outrageous. For sale signs, I loved those. I would take those, throw them in the car. Huge red flag. Put them in front of someone else's house. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Good gag. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, when I was drinking, I mean, if this is all about dating, nobody, it was nothing, it was, you would not want to date me. Not you, personally, but like the, the proverbial right. you. Well, did you date when you were drinking? Yeah. In fact, my wife, I started dating, I was still drinking when we started dating and she was sober. Oh, wow. But I was like, I was never a mean drunk. This is more like towards the end of the night. You were a destructive drunk. I would be destructive, but it wasn't like fuck you, bitch, I'm going to go break this. It was just like, oh, wouldn't it be fun if we just pulled up all the flowers at this uh, residence yeah. and, and threw them or jumped into these bushes, stuff like that. Just like mindless for no reason at all. Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this wasn't every night. I don't want you to think this was like all I did. Sometimes I would just cry and throw up or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would, you know, I mean, I would I would do other things. But um, but yeah, I dated. I had, I, I had like serious girlfriends a couple mm -hmm. times yeah do you have any other vices like since not drinking mm, diet i mean i love a bra i just had a chocolate brownie from starbucks a donut a brownie a sweet tooth cupcake oh my goodness yeah no good i'm it's just I, you're so thin thank you you too well, I'm like hyperactive. I'm always jumping around, bouncing around. Yeah. I think I have a good metabolism. But I've also learned that you, um, I think there's like studies, you actually burn a lot of calories just from like non-exercise movement. Like I can't sit still. So I'm <laughs> walking up and down the stairs. I'm, I, I, you know, I jump around. I listen to music. I'm going nuts. So yeah. I think I'm burning calories a lot. Would you consider yourself an alpha or a beta? This is actually a controversial take. Because I've talked about this on podcasts and people really get upset and they're like, you're a, you're a fucking beta piece of shit. I think because I have glasses and I, I can get nervous sometimes, but really I'm a, I'm a born leader. I think I'm more alpha, frankly. When I'm hanging out with a group, we're doing my ideas. I'm like, this is what we should do. Let's all go here. And people are like, all right, I'm a, I'm a born leader. I was captain of my track team, cross country team and uh, basketball team. Okay. I was captain of a baseball team once. So, too. like, do you think you could outrun a bear? Outrun a bear? I mean, that feels like something that's Googleable, and I don't have that information. <laughs> I, I'm a good runner. I can run, but I don't. I'm sure if I said yes, you might counter with bears run 80 miles an hour, or whatever bullshit. <laughs> but I think you zigzag. That's a gator. Uh, zigzag. I think is gators. I think that's gators. Yeah. They can't. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's Googleable. I don't have that information. I don't know what you're going to come back at me with. Oh, okay. So, so you don't know about the bear thing? No, I know that you can't outrun a bear. I don't think so. I think they run like 40 miles an hour or something like that. Yeah, it's like something crazy. And then if you try to climb up a tree, they'll also climb up the tree behind you. I'm not a big tree climber in general. I think I would play dead or fight back some of them. But I do, you're not going to believe this, but I train mixed martial arts. Tell so me you that's think a you could move. fight a bear? Yeah, I'd fuck it up. Shut up. You haven't seen me fight. Do we have the footage? Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. So let's say that you and your wife are camping and a bear comes. Would your wife defend you or would you defend your wife over the bear? I would defend my wife. I mean, I would... I would From the bear. Yeah, I would st step in front. Of, I have a baby also, so I would have to protect the baby. The wife, I, I don't really give a shit about her, but the baby <laughs> I would... I would try to protect. I mean, I would, I would definitely attack the bear and say run 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 whatever right but i don't think i would win a fight against the bear although i think black bears that are small you can like maybe maybe fuck them up a little bit they're yeah, afraid of know. you hmm. yeah i don't know much about bears do you like camping i do like camping you but look i like, like the kind of person that camps i like um like car camping i like um when you have your car parked and you can have stuff in there that you take out and then maybe like a um what do you call it like a a cabin. I uh -huh. want to sleep in a cabin. I like the sitting outside with the fire going, maybe a marshmallow, the <laughs> that shit. But sleeping on the ground, I can't do it. I've done it and like taken Tylenol PM to sleep and just, I can't it's sleep like, on the ground. It's like, why do it, you know? Yeah, I just like being in the woods. I don't want to, frankly, I guess I'm not a camper. I like sitting outside in the woods and hiking very much. You like the idea of camping? Well, I like, yeah, I like waking up early, having a cup of tea, walking in the woods, sitting around a campfire, maybe a cigar and some stories, and then I want to go to like the Four Seasons and go to bed in a bed. That sounds good. Do you uh, have any fetishes? Whoa. 
I didn't know this oh, was going to be this kind of party. Oh, we're on to main course. <laughs> Fetish. I don't know about fetishes. I mean, I like a lot of dirty talk. I do like shoes, like high heels in bed. My oh, you wife, like a foot fetish? It's not a foot fetish. More of a shoe thing. I like a. Sh- I like anything that's like feels uh, like practical. I like clothes in bed, like moving an underwear to the side, you know, or um, a dress, like a hike up a dress thing. Leave the shoes. Anything that feels like we snuck upstairs yeah. and we're fucking. That's hot to me. You like it when she leaves her heels on? Yeah, yeah. And, fa- and my wife doesn't really wear heels anymore, so we have like a, a box of heels that I've literally purchased or were hers when she was 25 that just live under the bed. So we'll just pull those out and grab those. Just easy and convenient. Easy and convenient. And um, yeah, any kind of dirty, any kind of dirty fucking dirty talk. Yeah. I like, I don't know if that counts as like Do you fetishy. like it when the other person is talking dirty to you or when you're doing the dirty talking? I like both. I mean, I'll I'll talk dirty until she gets where she needs to be, and then we'll switch it up. Nice. And sometimes she'll switch to like a different topic. I'm like, no, just like yes and me. Just stick with what <laughs> I have. Yeah, the topic. Yeah, yeah. I've I've initiated the topic. Now you take over in this. I've created characters, and you go with them. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes too, I like to hear about like past. We've been together for a long time, so I'm like, tell me about that guy you fucked when you were 22. You know, like stuff oh. like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because it's that thing of like, you fucked other people, but now it's all me, bro. That's that's some alpha shit. I call her bro because I'm alpha. Yeah. <laughs> um, Do you have any hidden talents? Do I? I got nothing but hidden talents. <laughs> Nobody realizes how talented I am, for God's sakes. I can pull my thumbs off. I don't know which camera's oh best. Oh, my God. No, Um, I can make some noise. I'm pretty good with noises. Okay. That's pretty good, right? Hey, the guns were great. Except I do a hawk that every once in a while is very good, but it, sometimes it's bad. That was that was bad. Not bad. I, it sounded like like the beginning of a bomb. You should hear my set. Hello, folks. <laughs> um, I got noises, and uh, I'm I'm pretty athletic. I can catch a I can jump and catch a frisbee under a leg. Wow. Um, I can throw a perfect spiral. I can kick a 25 yard field goal. Um, pretty good golfer. Good at tennis. Yeah. I can run distance pretty good. What about your wife? Is she talented? My wife's extremely talented. Yeah. What does she do? She's a comedian. What's her name? Sarah Silverman. Shut up. No. Um, <laughs> uh, Sarah Talamash. You should have her on. Do you have women on the show? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. What's your? Exit? I will start watching. Well, after I mean, I'm sure you're going to start watching when your episode comes out. Oh, you got me all wrong. I will never watch a second of this. I have many comedy specials. I've never seen a minute of them, <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I don't. I can't edit them. I don't. I've, I cannot watch. Why don't myself. you watch them? This uh, monitor in the corner of my eye is making me want to end my life tonight. Why? You don't the, like to look at yourself? No. Why? No, I don't like myself. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it's no good because you feel one way and then you look the other way. And it's been a hindrance my whole life. People are like, hey, Star Wars, math, you dork. Yeah. And uh, I, I was a very bad student. I don't know. I'm bad at math. I don't like sci fi. I'm an athlete. I got, I got tons of puss as a, as a boy. <laughs> And uh, I got this stupid look. You know what I mean? You look like you would be good at math. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you got stuck in the wrong body. That's what happened. I got bad eyesight and overbite, and I got to deal with this. People still are like, stop trying to act like you like sports. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. I I go to sporting events. Like, people think I'm just pretending to enjoy sports. I'll put post videos of me like shooting three, like making three point. And they're like, yeah, it's AI. Fuck <laughs> off. I'm like, you can't even get a win. I'm uh, telling you. And you should see me in bed. It's bananas. I mean, it's people, people are coming and squirting and shitting the whole thing. Wow. I know. It's a real, I should have reconstructive surgery. Yeah. Maybe I will. Who knows? You're, you, you're an Olympian under there. I, exactly. By the way, I, I made a film one time and the first day the makeup artist was putting makeup on and he goes, you got to get your jaw reset. He's like, you can have uh, surgery. He's like, it doesn't hurt. I wasn't even like asking. I was like, oh, all right. And then I had another guy. This is an old joke from my act, but this is a true story. 
I said to this, my, my buddy, I was like, I'm really self-conscious about my teeth. And then he goes, uh, just get crest whitening strips. And I was like, no, I meant that they're crooked. Like, he just like told me my teeth are yellow. Without me, I was like, oh, all right. Dang. Yeah, I got some problems. Well, it sounds like uh, some unsolicited advice coming in your way. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll take some if you have some, but mm. don't hurt me. No. The, I mean, the, it, the, the yeah, I, would, I mean, but it's a nice sweatshirt. It's very nice. I didn't know you'd be dressed. I didn't realize it was like you a thing. You didn't watch the show. No, I wanted to come in fresh. I didn't want to have preconceived notions. What if I watched the show? I'd be like, okay, this is what I need to do. And then you wouldn't get the authentic me. Okay. See how good at manipulating I am? You're not that good at it. <laughs> I bet you're better at dirty talking in bed. Absolutely. I could show you that too. You know when you get cornered by that aunt at the family gathering? That one who asks, when are you getting married? Or when are you having kids? Only for her to not actually listen. While you may have to grin and bear it with your family, you shouldn't feel that way when talking to your doctor about that weird rash or weight gain. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book doctors who will make you feel comfortable and actually listen to you. And we're not talking about a few. We're talking about tens of thousands of doctors, all with verified patient reviews. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doc you want, you can book them immediately. Since I just moved to Austin, I need a new general physician and ZocDoc is going to be the platform to help me out. Go to ZocDoc.com slash date and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash date. ZocDoc dot com slash date. Think of some comedy duos who got it done. Key and Peele, Faye and Polar. What about the perfect duo when it comes to growing your business? That's you and Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your own online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere. From their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. I'll be launching a new website soon, and I'm going to drop some merch, and Shopify is going to help me make it so much easier. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. And Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklinen, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash date, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash date now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash date. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and get after your goals. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time. And they've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash date 50 and use code date 50 to get 50% off. That's code date 50 at factormeals.com slash date 50 to get 50% off. Do you get jealous easily? No. I mean, what are we talking in a relationship? 
Or like in general, like career stuff or like What else would you get jealous over? Well, I'm like I'm in comedy. Like do you mean like jealousy like, oh man, I wish I sold I'm, 4, I was asking tickets. in a way of like a relationship. No, no. We're very this is the thing with my wife and I, we're sober and we're older. So it's hard to be You don't look that old. Well, I'm 41. She's 45. I mean, you I'm look old. like you're in your late 30s. There we go. Now we're talking. I mean, 41 and late 30s How's are only separated by like 18 months. But thank you. I appreciate that. I moisturize. I can tell. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not. Uh, I think sobriety in a relationship is extremely effective to prevent any kind of paranoia or jealousy. Also, we've been together for a long time. And this is another joke. I'm just doing jokes for my act. But like, in a rela- early on in a relationship, you're like, who's that guy? Why do you still talk to your ex? What, why you were laughing at him? Now we've been together like 13 years. I'm like, do you want to fuck your ex in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, now it's like, I don't care. I, you know, it's like, I don't care. Yeah. You got to spice things up a little bit. But she's, ve- we have a very healthy relationship. So there's not a lot of jealousy, I don't think. Do you ever feel like a healthy relationship gets a little boring? Um, I, not real. I don't know about boring. We because we go and do a lot of stuff. Maybe monotonous. Do you I keep? S- how do you keep things exciting? I suppose it could, but we have a very exciting lives. Like we're comedians, so we travel a lot. We just had a baby, which is very exciting. Congratulations! Thank you. And when you're traveling, like my baby's been to seven states, and he's 15 weeks old. So we're always traveling. We have a lot of friends. We do a lot of stuff. We do stuff together. So I think if you are working every day from, you know, nine to five and sitting in traffic and then you come home and, you know, your wife's telling you about her coworkers and you're telling about your coworkers, maybe that gets monotonous. But we're you're also on the both. Road. Well, I'm on the road. This is another thing that's healthy in a relationship, I think, is a lot of times I leave Thursday through Saturday. So you get back together and you're like, oh, my God, this happened and that happened. I actually think a lot of separation is very healthy in a relationship. Yeah, some time apart makes you miss each other. Yeah, exactly, and it and it fills you up with new stories and topics. Yeah, something so exciting to talk about. I can see how a, a a healthy relationship could get monotonous and boring, but we seem to work it where it's not. Yeah, but you might ask her, and she's like, "Yeah, no, I hate him, and I'm bored to shit." Oh no, it doesn't seem like it. No, I don't think so. I mean, I've never met her, but she's wonderful. The way you talk about her, I can't imagine that she's feeling differently. I would, yeah, no, I think I think we're very healthy. Um, what's your favorite position? Sexual? Yeah. Um, I was gonna say shortstop, and I realized what you were talking about. Um, nothing on that from Short the guys. Shortstop? I don't even uh, know what sport that is. That's baseball. I thought so. It's a wonderful game. Um, favorite oh. position? I mean, this isn't exciting, but I like a good old fashioned missionary. Where I'm on my knees and holding the old ankles, like I work at a like a tractor. Hold you on, know? You're, wait, I have to I have to get that together. You're on your knees on the bed. I'm on the bed. Oh, okay. on my knees. She's laying down, and I got the ankles over here, and I'm just kind of working them. Oh, I see. Got it. Yeah, yeah. That took me a moment. Yeah, that's not missionary. It's pretty missionary. I mean, if I let go of her ankles and went forward, that's missionary. That's missionary. So what is, is there a but name for this? But if you're sitting up and holding her ankles. That's not missionary? No, that's something else. What's that? Did I invent that? You didn't invent the pose, but I don't think that has a word. Maybe we should invent, maybe it's like the list. <laughs> that's a, the listy. The list. Um, but whatever, I like that. I mean... I like all the positions. I also like a reverse cowgirl, preferably if there's a mirror involved so I can see oh, what's going yeah. on. Oh, yeah, props, love props. That would be nice. I heard of a new position recently. I can't wait to hear it. It's called the bull, and she's doggy style, and you're behind her, and you have to hold on to her as hard as you can and whisper in her ear another girl's name and see Whoa. how long you can hold on. I love this. I'm going to try it tonight. And um, that girl is going to be her aunt and just see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a hot aunt. Um, no, that sound, I mean, that sounds, that sounds great. I'm all about throwing other names out there. Yeah. Um, okay, so we've, we've got the list. We've invented the list. Beautiful. Um, I'm having weird deja vu. And I can't believe I'm having deja vu over your, your last name being a sex position. That's very strange to me. Well, maybe it's out there. Maybe I didn't realize. Maybe I didn't 
start this. People as have already been calling it the list. It's the list. Like some of the women I've slept with were already calling it the list. Okay. You know? Yeah. And it. You the list wind goes it. on. Boom. Can you remember the names of everyone that you've slept with? No, but I know the number. What number? What's the number? It's 39. Okay. Which is respectable, I think. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's a surprising number for you, though. Surprising high or surprising low? Surprising high. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's slightly hurtful, but this is what I'm talking about. This is back to what I'm talking about. And by the way, that's with being in a relationship. So I started having sex when I was 18. I'm 41, and I've been with my wife for 13 years, and I was in another relationship for two years. So those are decent numbers. It's a great number. I'm just an asshole. I mean, I'm also like people, again, I get act, people act like I'm some dork. I'm like, I'm in showbiz. I got celebrity friends. I'm a, I'm a stand up comedian. I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. Yeah, you're I'm in quite great charming. shape. You're very charming. Damn right. Still surprising, though. How do you feel about open relationships? I don't, uh, I don't know a lot that work out. Yeah, same. Um, Have you ever had a threesome? No. Foursome? Keep going. Stop. No, no. Um, I have not had a threesome. No, I'm trying to think. No, no. I have not. I've had a situation where a woman uh, had sex with three men, me being one of them, in a house, like, like one at a time, though. Like a train. I suppose so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, no, but... That's something. Did you know her before you went over there? No, she came to our home, and um, <laughs> and uh, was it this was a bachelor party. No, no, it was pretty random. It was pretty crazy, and um, she we we got to know her and hung out and and drank, and then she kind of blew one guy. I actually didn't have intercourse with her, but I did receive oral sex. From Were her. you the first one? No, I was the third one. Oh, yeah. And then I got a little freaked out and I couldn't, I was like, this is too much for me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I, I, this is during a period of my life where I was dealing with a lot of serious anxiety and even panic disorder and, uh, and drinking a lot. And so to me, it felt like a good story if it was like all three of us, three for three. <laughs> and she started kind of going down on me and I was like, I, I, got, I started to feel really bad. Weird I was like, about I, it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you're not doing well. <laughs> Like I felt like a deep, like this is like this a therapy is, session. Yeah, it just felt like oh, this is like a bottomy space for you, and I'm not really comfortable. And I'm not trying to virtue signal. I, I just was like turned <laughs> off sexually. I was like, I don't like if I could have kept going, I would. Yeah. I don't want to make it seem like I'm a really great guy. I just was like, I'm not feeling. Hey, this. you never know how you're gonna feel in a situation until you're in it. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. So anyways, but yeah, I had that's the closest I've come to. But yeah, no real threesome thing. Yeah. Well, since you look so smart, did you go to college? No. This see this is another I'm 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 actually quite dumb. I did, I went to <laughs> zero college, not even a second of college. That doesn't mean you're dumb. No, in fact, I think it means I'm smart cuz I have no debt Student and I started debt. doing stand-up comedy when I was 18. I just graduated high school and started doing stand-up. So, no no college whatsoever. Where did you go to high school? Whitman Hanson Regional High School in Whitman, Massachusetts. Okay. Home of the Panthers. Yeah. Exactly. That's my only sound effect. I think a panther might be more like, Gar! Is that, is it? I don't know. You went, Row. Well, I was a baby panther. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I was a just born panther. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> um, so we're going to do some rapid fire questions. I have this tasting menu. Okay. Okay. So you're just going to answer first thing off the top of your head. Sure. Can't wait. What's the oldest thing in your fridge right now? I have no idea. I'm like not a big pizza. You're such a junk food person. Probably. Oh, you know what? Probably some yeah leftover like rigatoni or pizza or something like that. But I'm not a big fridge guy. I've been this Chinese food. I'm going to say General Sao Chinese. And I've been on the road for about seven days. So it's quite old. It's in there. Yeah, yeah. It's rotting. Yeah, it's not good. East Coast or West Coast? I'm from the East Coast, but the West Coast is the better coast. No. But I live in the East Coast. Yeah. Don't represent. I love both coasts. You don't have to love both coasts. I like West Coast. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm a, more of an East Coast person now, too. 
I mean, the the coast is. Are we talking the coast itself? West coast, East coast, no, West coast, I know, baby. But West coast. There's no. There's no comparison. Like Washington, Oregon, California. Those are spectacular. There's like rocks sticking out of them. Way more beach. Warmer. Much much better coast itself. Yeah. I'll take the East Coast people though. Okay. Deep dish or thin crust pizza? I love. Is that, am I not answering quick enough? Sorry. I'm a thoughtful guy. That's I good. love. Both pizzas, very much. I mean, if I can only have one the rest of my life, I'm going thin crust. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Absolutely not. Gross. Thank God. I almost said gross, and then I went to great. No, no. I, I don't like any toppings on my pizza. I'm like Kevin McAllister. Okay, that's I'm, a red flag. I'm Kevin McAllister, grown up. What, so you just like red sauce? Yeah, lots of it. Red sauce, cheese, just shove it right in my ass. Okay, so you like cheese? Yeah, big cheese. So you like a margarita pizza? I like... I like a margarita pizza fine, but I don't like that margarita pizza is somehow taking the place of cheese pizza. I want a cheese pizza, classic cheese. What's the difference? Margarita has like green bullshit, like basil leaves on it, tomato chunks, and it's like a little bit, it's mozzarella cheese. So you don't like mozzarella cheese? I like mozzarella cheese fine. I feel like this is our first fight. <laughs> I like mozzarella cheese fine. I just like a cheese. You, surely you know the difference between a classic yeah. cheese you and mozzarella. You want the shitty cheese pizza that you can get from like a window and they put like the, the yellow cheese on it. Yeah, that's right. You don't want the fancy mozzarella margarita pizza. No, and a lot of new places, if you say, I, I'd like a cheese pizza, they bring you a goddamn margarita. margarita pizza with chunks of tomato. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry Star for my language. No, no, it's okay. Star Wars or Harry Potter? Star. I've never seen Harry Potter, so Star Wars. So surprising. You look like someone that has seen Harry Potter and I loves know. Harry Potter. This is what I'm telling you. I don't I care about Harry Potter. I don't like brooms and witches. <laughs> Anything where like people are flying, I don't. I'm not, I hate. That's so weird. I love Harry Potter. I'll love it if you love it. Whatever. You, whatever we have to do to make this work, I'll watch <laughs> Harry Potter. But he stinks. Who cares? How does he stink? I like like Goodfellas and The Godfather. Harry Potter. What? Whoa. <laughs> oh man. And Star Wars, I loved as a, as a, as a kid, but um, you know, it's a little silly. But I could still watch Star Wars if I have to. Okay. I'm sorry. This might not work. We out. just we're not getting through this very quickly. I know. I'm I'm a thoughtful guy. Sorry, I'm the next one I'm saying yes or no. Best music to have sex to. Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to answer quick. <laughs> well, I think it's gotta be lyricless. Because if I'm fucking and all of a sudden I hear like your body is a I'm like, what is this lyric? It's gotta be a, a jazz. <laughs> so you're doing the list. Yes. Listening to jazz. Yeah, a little Sonny Rollins or something like that. But yeah, any kind of lyric, it's just distracting. We don't have sex to music. We focus. Silence. The vibrator is the only music we need. Oh. Bzzz. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're all vibrator all the time. Okay. <laughs> Leather or lace? Lingerie. For her, not for you. Um, Lace. She doesn't wear lingerie. It's leather lingerie. Well, she's that's wearing two different heels. Things. Yeah, that and that's you know that's I got to really. And you like to pull the panties to the side. That's true. So let's go lace. Okay. But leather's not lingerie, surely, is it? Leather can be. Okay. Yeah, there. Haven't you seen like the leather, um, like uh, oh latex? I'm thinking of latex. Oh yeah, leather. latex. Oh yeah, I'd like to lick some latex and smack it around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll take either. I'll be thrilled with either. But I'll go lace. Because lace, you can kind of like rip and, you know, oh, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah, munch her up, the whole thing. Yeah. So. I think fishnet. I, we should incorporate fishnet. I'm a big fishnet, fishnet guy. I like fishnets a lot, too. Love a fishnet. A fishnet and a heel, forget about it. Done. And some jazz music. Yeah. <sighs> Ghosts. No, I, might, I might have to take my hoodie off. This is getting a little. Ghosts or aliens? <sighs> um, I'll, ghost. I like a ghost. I, I think both are silly. Um, but... I like a ghost story, an alien story. I'm not interested in. Okay, um, what's your when you did drink? What was your go-to drink? Captain and Coke, no fruit. Okay, showers or baths? Shower. Coffee or tea? Tea. Favorite flowers? Um, uh, yellow, <laughs> daffodil, sunflower. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love sunflowers. Yes, very beautiful. I think sunflowers are my favorite flower, and then comes the tulip. That's interesting because you look like a sunflower. Oh, that's Beautiful. nice. Thank you. I'll take that. That's like a sunshiny day for me. Yeah. Um, 
are you a morning bird or a night owl? I'm a big morning guy. I mean, I used to be night, but big morning now. I wake up early. Is that since having the baby? No, quite a while before that. Probably about eight or 10 years now. I oh, like to wow. get up early and start doing things. Meditate, run, that stuff. Did that come with sobriety? Yes. Sounds like it. Lights on or off? For sex? Yep. I like both. I prefer on. I like a face during sex. I like the faces that are being made during sex. A nice cum face. I want to see that the face. The O face. And the breasts. I wanted to say tits, but I, it feels like a classy joint. But I like, yeah, I like lights on. Lights off is also fun every once in a while. Yeah, But I'm like eight around. to one lights on. Okay. Um, what's your favorite car? A 2018 Nissan Sentra, probably. That's my car. <laughs> um, not a big car. I, mean, I was a big Corvette guy. Probably like the, the 63 split rear like window a thing. Yeah, yeah. The Stingray 63 Corvette. I love like all those like 67 to 72. So we're classic cars. Corvettes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, what yeah. color? Red. You got to go red. Yeah. What are we doing I like here? red or black. I like black also. Black Stingray Corvette. Ooh. So sexy. Yeah, yeah I like that. My dad had a gold one with leopard interior. Whoa. Yeah. That's hot. He had custom leopard seats. He sounds hot. Yeah, he knew what he was doing with cars. Um, I thought it was fucking wicked. Introvert or extrovert? Um, I guess I'm extrovert. I'm very gregarious, but I also like a lot of alone time. I'm sorry, I'm not answering quick, but if I had to choose one, I'm certainly extroverted. Okay. Are you sweet or savory? Sweet. So you would pick a donut over a pizza? Yeah. You say that depends on like, what I'm. It depends on what I'm. I mean, what are we talking? Like in bed, or are we talking? Am I hungry? Hmm. Hmm. I guess if you're in bed and you, yeah, not when you're like hungry, when you just want to have a snack. I mean, I have a lot. I love a donut. I mean, I'm a big donut. What kind of donut? Guy, just a classic glazed, old fashioned cream? glazed. I can do Krispy Kreme, I suppose. You can. I'm not a huge crispy. People go crazy for Krispy Kreme. I've probably only had a couple Krispy Kremes in my you life. You know, I don't even like donuts at all. I don't have a sweet tooth whatsoever, but I will eat a fresh Krispy Kreme donut. It's it's damn good. It if you're is. ever in Tacoma, Washington, there's a place called Pow's, P-A-O, apostrophe S. Unbelievable donut. I'll try it. Please. Um, We're nearing the end of this. Let's try it a little faster, shall we? All right, here we go. Sorry, I'm going to focus and really, yes. Karaoke or dancing? I love both dancing. Oh my god! I love both so much dancing. I got laid a lot singing karaoke, by the way. Did you? Yeah, a you couple can times. You sing? I yeah. I mean, I have a lot of talents. Stop. Da, 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 dun, da, da, dun, da. That was made up. Yeah. Um, but I like to dance. I'm a dance. I dance. Okay. I'll dance over karaoke. <laughs> Goldfish or Cheez Its? Goldfish. Spearmint or peppermint? Spearmint. Boxers or briefs? Br uh, boxers. No, I boxer briefs. Can I combine them? Boxer briefs. You know briefs. what? You've combined every other question on this fucking tasting menu. Why not? I do like to do karaoke while dancing, but boxer briefs. Chocolate Both. or vanilla? Don't you dare say swirl. Vanilla. Vanilla, definitely. All right. Are you an alpha or a beta? Alpha. <laughs> I, okay. Mix, match, socks or matching? Matching. What am I, an asshole? I don't know. I'm a psychopath. <laughs> I don't have a single pair of matching socks. That's crazy. All right. My dessert question. Do you consider yourself romantic? Yes, very. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done for someone? See, I, I, <laughs> this doesn't um, have to be fast. Oh, okay, great. This is the last final question. Oh, okay, great. I mean, I think of myself in, in general as a romantic guy. Like, I find going to a film during the day romantic, and I find baseball to be romantic, and I find I like being with one person and committed to them in that kind of romantic way um one specific thing that i did that was romantic mm -hmm. is tough i mean i guess i buy flowers a lot like i'll get flowers okay but like i'm not like a guy who's like i put f petals up the stairs and then had candles lit and we went for a hot air balloon ride okay i don't know Do why i put such a space between balloon and ride <laughs> um <laughs> So I don't, I don't have like a specific like, check this out. One time, you know, I blindfolded her and took her to, uh, you know, the spaghetti house. You're, you're more of like a consistent romantic guy. In general, like I'll cry during a movie and I like <laughs> to, um, you know, tell her you're the love of my life, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. 
Okay. So I embrace romance, but yeah, I don't have like a specific like like moment. Get like, this. Yeah. I melted chocolate and made a ring out of it or anything like that. <laughs> That'd be cool. That's not bad. I just that's came a up with great that. idea. You're an ideas guy. I like that. You're damn right, an alpha ideas guy. Okay. Well, we're gonna cover your red flags. We're gonna start with the. <sighs> this is gonna hurt my feelings. I know it. It's okay. I've been hurting your feelings a little bit here and there. I've been no. been warming you up. Impossible. Um. That you like to break things when you were drunk. Yeah. But you're not, you're, I'm not you're drunk sober anymore. now. Yeah. So it's kind of like that was a past red flag. I'm just digging it up from the grave to remind you that you weren't a great person. No. <laughs> well, it's all I was a bad person. I was a person with a serious drinking problem. Yeah. 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 But Did, you know. Yeah. It happens. I got those things under control. I made amends where I could. Um, that you don't like toppings on your pizza is kind of a red flag. No, how so? It's what a difference little does it make? psycho. I've had this with women before. I'm like, what difference does it make? I'll okay, eat how the about cheese this? pizza. You eat pepperoni and pineapple. Let's say that I did order pepperoni and you wanted cheese. Would you share the pizza and then just pick the pepperoni off? Oh, I'll eat pepperoni. I'll eat pepperoni. That's just not your favorite. Yeah, yeah. I just prefer cheese, but I'll eat a pepperoni pizza. If it's your favorite, I'll, I'll make it work. Oh, that's sweet. Absolutely. I'll do anything for you. <laughs> Well, then I guess... Not you, but like in general, oh. the general... I was just going to invite you back for a second date, you dickhead. Fuck! I'll do anything specifically for you. Okay. I'd love yeah. to have you back for a second date. Please. And then... Uh, Don't make that the clip. Are you going to watch the show? Absolutely. Are you kidding? I've already subscribed. Up here, I'm already... You're already four committed? Four episodes in. Yeah. Awesome. I've seen clips. I saw a clip with Ari. Mm -hmm. He was on. Yeah. He was talking about also jealousy and how he doesn't get jealous and he's whatever. Yeah. I think he's full of shit. Yeah. I kind of felt the same. Yeah. And he's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I just know he'll see that and it'll be funny. No, All best. right, cool. Well, uh, shout out to Ari. And thank you for coming on. Is there, Where can people find you? They can find me at Joe List Comedy on Instagram, Joe List on YouTube. I have three specials on YouTube and a half hour on Netflix. They can watch all that stuff. Please do. And then, yeah, come to see a show. Yeah. And then if you guys at home try the list position, make sure you let us know in the comments if you thought of Joe while you were in that position. Absolutely. Yeah. Please. I Thank you again. I'll see you next time whenever you come back to Austin. I hope so. Yeah, please. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. First date, baby. Are you really drinking a glass of milk with dinner? First date, I can't